For today's helpful hints page, I'll be performing a DNS query of mail records for the domain hotmail.com. Okay, so let's begin. First, I need to open up a command prompt. Now inside the command prompt window, I'm going to type nslookup and hit enter. Now this gets me into NF lookup interactive mode. Notice the command prompt changes to a greater than sign when you're in interactive mode. Above that, it shows you the fully qualified domain name and IP address of your DNS server, which it will use to answer your query right here. Now I'm going to set this particular mode to query for mail exchanger records. In order for me to do that, let me type set space QA equals MX. QA means query type, and MX means mail exchanger records. Now that that mode is set, the next domain name I enter at the prompt, my DNS server will automatically query for that domain mail exchanger resource records. Okay, so let me type in hotmail.com because that's, that's the domain I'm looking for. Okay, I've got a lot of mail exchanger records here. So let's go back to the top, up to the top here. Now notice in the output, you've got where it says non-authoritative answer. Now the reason why that is, is that the DNS server you're using to do all of your queries, uh, this server right here, has previously queried the server that is, that is authoritative for the hotmail.com domain, and, and it kept a copy of the results on its local hard drive. It did this so that it could answer any new queries about the hotmail.com domain faster and without requerying for that for this information again from the authoritative DNS server of hotmail.com. So in effect, the output is listed as non-authoritative instead of authoritative. Now it looks like we have about about uh, 20 or so servers here, and these are all the servers listed right here. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out of uh, NS Lookup Interactive Mode. Just type exit here to do that, and then we can type exit again to exit out of um, the command prompt. And that's pretty much it. There you have it. Lesson for the day.